Hi, I'm Darcy, and welcome back to Screencasts Online. Today, we're talking about Better Mouse, a menu bar application that adds incredible customization to your scrolling and tracking, with support for button and keyboard mapping. With this app, you'll be able to assign roles to extra buttons depending on the app and go far beyond the basic system settings. So let's get into it, starting with the download. The application and instructions can be found at the Better Mouse website, which we've linked below. From there, you'll be able to move it into your applications folder, as with any application downloaded from the internet. Then once it's opened, you'll find it in the menu bar at the top right. On the first page, we see settings for scrolling, and it can seem a bit intimidating at first, so I'll break it down step by step. The graph at the top is basically giving you an indication of how the settings are interacting with each other, but we won't need to interact with the graph itself. Head down to Duration. This setting indicates how long a scroll will last for when you spin the wheel on your mouse or use a trackpad. This is how long the duration is when I spin the wheel just a couple of times. And this is the duration when I crank it all the way up to 60. See how much further it goes on the same amount of scrolling. A couple of things I want to note while giving this demonstration. You won't be able to see me scroll because you can't see my mouse, but assume with all of the examples that I'm scrolling the same distance each time. The other is that I'm always going to crank it up to the maximum setting to show you a comparison of the settings. For you, it's important to play around and find the sweet spot, but I'm just giving you an idea of what each setting does. The next setting is Breakpoint. From what I can tell, this is an indication of when the scrolling will stop. When I set this at a higher level, the scrolling stops more quickly, it breaks more quickly. And when I set it lower, it seems to more smoothly finish. Speed is the speed at which the scroll will happen. I'll set it very low, and you can see it hardly moves at all. The speed is very slow. And when I crank it up, it scrolls incredibly quickly. Acceleration differs from speed in a key way. This is about how quickly it will reach the maximum speed as opposed to the actual speed it travels once it's there. If I set it high, you can't really tell the difference, so I'll set it at about 30. Halfway. It's subtle, but you can get a sense for it approaching that top speed, of it building up to that speed, before reaching it. And to balance things out, there's a setting here for overall smoothness. This kind of balances everything out. As you can see in the graph at the top. Below, there are a few checkboxes. I recommend keeping Smooth and Accelerated turned on. These support the settings we were just playing with. The third one is Vertical Direction Invert, and this simply reverses the direction of the scrolling, so opposite to what you normally experience on a Mac. There's a setting here for Horizontal Scrolling Speed. And in the first place, I have to say it was a little difficult to find websites that scroll horizontally. Secondly, it seems that a lot of web pages allow vertical scroll to act in a horizontal scroll. You can change the scrolling speed here, and invert it as well. Finally, at the bottom, we have some key combinations that work with scrolling. So for instance, if I hold shift, I can enable horizontal scrolling. If I hold control while scrolling, it will zoom in and out. I can invert either of these settings too. And you can change the speed by holding down the command key while scrolling. They're so much faster. And of course you can modify that command key speed increase using the bar below. Now let's move on to cursor settings. Click on mouse at the very top. That's just a quick preview of 